When you're in the cave, everything is speculation because it's not the real thing. What you're doing is you're looking at shadows of things and then formulating what you think is the ultimate reality from those things. When you leave the cave, take the red pill, you start to see things for what they really are. That's good. But then you keep going and you're like, I want more of these red pills. I'm still in a cave. I'm, I'm sure this must still be a cave because obviously if I was in that cave, what's Sam not in a cave now? I got to get out of this cave. Then you start going and you're saying, oh, I bet you these trees that I see, they're actually shadows of the real trees. And I bet you this sun, this is pro I'm in a bigger cave. This is actually a fake version of the real sun. I now have to explain why we're still in the cave and they want you to be in whatever. You end up creating your own matrix. Which was, you end up plugging yourself into something where you've now basically gone in a full circle. You've created that, a, a new cave where what happens is, because what are the characteristics of being in that cave? You get so fixated on these partial truths that you then take for full truths that looking away from those is actually painful. And then you become a recluse and you start shutting yourself off from what's actually happening. Okay, no, this, this, is, is good. this is happening. And I'm, we've all been on that, all of us, all of us. When you get red-pilled on something, you get real, like, it's basically, it's the, it's, 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 the, it's the fruits, it's the seeds, I should say. It's the seeds of the Gnostic heresies. You know, there are parts of Christ's life that are speculative. Um, so you then start to speculate about these speculative parts of Christ's life until you have the secret information of who Christ really was. <laughs> you know, you start to become a Gnostic. This is so dangerous for people both in the secular realm and in the church. 